What up, it's your girl Minna, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to highlight and contour your face. Listen, you may think that you know what you're doing, but it's more than likely that if you're watching this video, you don't know what you are doing. Make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure you turn on your notifications and like the video if you're excited. First, I'm going to prime my face because I just, I'm gonna do a full face, but you're only gonna see the, the highlight contour of this, you know? I'm gonna chop this up, hello, yes. So I'm going to use the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I've been using this for a very long time simply because it is wicked cheap. I got it for $14 at Ulta, but it's actually on sale. I think it was Walmart I saw it at for like nine or eight dollars. So make sure you get that. Already have done my skincare, so my skin's looking pretty greasy. And this is gonna neutralize that by toning it down and keeping the oils down. This really works depending on the weather outside. If it's cool, kind of cold. If it's cool out, like kind of cold, it'll really keep your face matte. If it's hot outside, it helps a little bit, but it's not gonna. For me, everyone's skin is different. For me, I still see some oils, but that's fine because you know, you need to see, your skin's gonna produce oil regardless, so why not? Like, hello. For foundation, I'm gonna just use my MAC NW50 foundation. We're discussing how that in contour, so the foundation that I use isn't really a big deal. I used to use this big, flat kabuki. I've really been into this smaller one, just so I don't make a mess and get this on my hair. Hello. Let's get this all over the face. And as you saw, I only primed my T-zone because everything else is fine. I don't need to mattify anything else. I could have put a spray on my whole face, but I don't be doing that. I just primed my T-zone. That's all I care about. So now that my face is looking flat and one dimensional and not the way I like it to be, let's get some highlight in this situation, okay? I'm gonna use the Morphe concealer and this is the color six. Oh, wait. Mm read. C 3.65, okay? People say get a highlight that is two to three shades lighter than your foundation. Girl, who has time to be at the, at the count of counting shades? Do you know how to count shades? Because I don't. It's just been a lot of trial and error for me. For instance, I used to use the LA Girl Toffee Concealer and after a while I'm like, this is too light for the kid. Let me do something else. I bought another Morphe Concealer and I felt like, mm, this is too light for me. So I bought this one once and this is C 3.55 and I was like, uh-uh, that's too light for me. And now I went and got C 3.65, which to me is better. Use a wet sponge. I like to go section by section. I don't just put it all over my face because depending on the kind of concealer you're using, it can dry on you and then you're in big trouble. This is a mattifying concealer. So you have to like do section by section unless you just blend really, really fast. So when I say trial and error with the color, just try, like if you if you can. So for instance, go to a store that allows you to swatch, like Ulta, all right? Go to Ulta and then pick out your drugstore foundation and put it on your wrist and then take your concealer and put it next to it and just see, like pick out different concealers and just see what looks like it goes with, what looks like it goes with the other, okay? Talking too much, let's blend this mattifying concealer before I regret it, because what can happen is it sticks right there, it doesn't blend, and then you look like a cuckoo clown. So make sure your sponge is damp. That will shear out the coverage of the concealer just a bit. If you were to use a dry sponge, you're gonna get extreme full coverage. So it really is up to you, but I believe in soaking the sponge and then squeezing it out. Now it can't be soaked, it just needs to be damp. So squeeze it out, even if you have to, squeeze it out on a towel. I had to close the window, the sun is acting crazy. So yeah, your sponge should feel cold. It's just, it should feel cold, but you shouldn't actually feel like water is getting onto your face, okay? So that's how you know that it's damp. So there you go. Blend the highlight in a check mark motion. I like to bring the highlight right here, a little bit above your eye in this area and make sure you're getting right underneath your eye. It's going to crease, but we're gonna fix this again before we set it with powder. Now taking the same contour product, I'm gonna do a V right here in between my brows, all right? I like to take some leftover product and then put it under my chin. I'm gonna get that blemish with a, uh, full another full coverage foundation i take left over and put it under my chin although if i want more i take left over from up here and if i need some more i'll go up here right so i'm not going to just take concealer and put it down here i like it to be a leftover situation just so that it's not too harsh you don't want anything to be too harsh you want all of your lines to be blended this is mattifying concealer as i mentioned so you do need to work quickly so see how there's a harsh line there? You don't want that. So you wanna blend, 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 blend. Now that is still pronounced, but not so much. We're gonna contour and that'll smooth out by itself. So don't worry. Oh, and in case you're wondering, this is a two pack of Sonia Kashuk sponges that I got from Target. They were like, what, $7? So I'll link it below in case you wanna purchase this. You can also take the back to blend any harsh lines. 
All right, I'm just taking a little bit of Juvia's Place Angola. There we go, that blemish is covered. All right, now let's contour. I'm gonna use the chocolate dipped color. This is a stick foundation from Black Radiance. I'm really a proponent of using stick foundations to contour. You can totally do that. Get a darker version of whatever stick foundation you like and love. So you can literally use a stick foundation as your foundation color, like get the color that matches you. And then you can get a darker color of the same product and use it as your contour. So it's up to you. Now, just a little bit right here here okay like right here all right go easy with that and then to blend all of this out you can use your sponge i have done that again the sponge is damp so it's going to shear out the product i'm just going to use this minted foundation brush i just love the way that it's shaped so let's start on this side it looks gray to you right so the undertone is neutral for this con this product so this is a contoured stick foundation the undertone is neutral so when you buy products you can either buy it in a neutral undertone a warm undertone meaning it's kind of red or a cool undertone meaning that it's got a little yellow to it the foundation that I used is warm so remember that it was NW50 and this contour is chocolate dipped it is neutral and it's not like it's written on there not that I saw but I just know from putting it on this looks gray if it looks gray it's neutral so depending on your skin tone and your undertone that's how you're going to determine what foundation undertone matches you what concealer undertone this concealer undertone is cool and then also what contour undertone matches you i know that it's going to probably be confusing as i'm explaining it you might be confused and i've said this before on instagram and i i know it might not be very helpful but you really just have to find you either just have to know what you're doing or go to a beauty counter that offers swatches so you can swatch on your face. Go to someone that knows what they're doing. I used to work at MAC years and years ago. And the fact is, when I worked at MAC, I never went to an update. They never took freelancers to an update. I never got trained. I literally taught myself everything. I would watch the other artists and just be learning from them. I'd watch videos. I was just teaching myself right now when it comes to the, you know finding your undertone it's gonna be might be a little hard for you to figure out what works for you you just need to go to someone that knows what they're doing so that is a subtle contour it could be a lot if i were to use a contour that had a warm undertone it would be a lot deeper so when i've used if you follow me on instagram if i when i've used Julia's place number two concealer or the congo stick foundation my contour is jar okay that was working for me for a while but I decided I want to go a little bit more soft with my contour you know you go through phases so I want to go a little bit more soft with my contour and for that reason I went back to using chocolate dipped from black radiance so now so now let's set this whole thing when it comes to setting powder that also depends on how you like your face to look so the question is do you want to use a setting powder that is neutral meaning the powder is white or like almost white so for instance, this light tan skin silk setting powder from Mented is beige, okay? So it's a neutral setting powder. Or you can use a setting powder that has a yellow undertone, like Ben Nye Banana Powder. Or it depends on what look you're going for. What I will do sometimes is if I use a concealer that is very neutral on me and I'm like, ooh, this makes me look like ashy and kind of white, I'll be sure to use a yellow setting powder. But this is giving me the look that I want, so I'm okay using the light tan setting powder powder because it's not going to give me color it's just going to set so what I like to do is tip it over get some on the cap dust off the excess open this bad boy up and just use what's in the cap I'm going to set the under eye to be sure that there's no creasing in my concealer then take some of the product and then slowly place it in that V section so just try to focus it just where you have the highlight concealer I want to make sure that there's no ashy situations going on because no matter what you're using there is a potential for that to happen so I just I don't bake I just set and dust it off so even right now you can tell that I have powder on my face right like I've set my under eye and we get that okay what I do now is I go on with my brows and I do the rest of my face but I do put a powder on my face to really bring everything in and then you have the option to deepen up the contour by using a powder that's a, like a dark brown powder to really deepen it up in the same exact areas so on the perimeter of the face I don't do my jawbone contour but you can do that if you 
you like it. I just don't like that. And then I'll, of course you can also deepen this up if you wanted to. But I tend to just do my face and then put the blush on and call it a night. This is the basics to the highlighting and contour technique. So I hope that you found this video helpful. I want you to comment below and let me know how confident you feel about your highlighting contour technique. What are you using to contour? What are you using to highlight with? What powder are you using to set? And what are your questions when it comes to highlighting and contouring? Thanks for watching.